Vogue Arabia has defended its decision to feature a Saudi princess on its cover as a symbol of women in the kingdom finally winning the right to drive. The magazine has been criticized for ignoring the contribution of Saudi women campaigners, some of whom were arrested recently, Laura Westbrook reports. Vogue Arabia's latest edition hasn't got quite the reaction it was hoping for. It's because of who was chosen to be on the cover. The Saudi princess whose family is lauded for being the driving force, while activists who fought for women's right to drive remain behind bars. That's wrong, says human rights activists. Because not mentioned are campaigners who had helped draw international attention by driving illegally and posting videos online. Just weeks before women in Saudi Arabia are allowed to drive, some activists were labelled as traitors and arrested. Given the significant loosening of certain restrictions on women's activities in Saudi Arabia in recent months, including the forthcoming ending of the ban on women driving, it's perplexing why both women and men engaged in campaigning for such positive developments are now being targeted by the authorities. One activist, Manal al-Sharif, who has left the country, was interviewed by Vogue. On Twitter, she urged people not to forget three leading women's rights campaigners who are still in detention. But Vogue stands by its choice. Its editor describes the cover as an iconic and powerful image that is completely fulfilling its purpose. The man on the left, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, was behind the decision to lift the driving ban. He took on the country's powerful clerics to do so. Cinemas and theatres were recently reopened after a ban that lasted three decades. And back in September, women were allowed into a sports stadium, previously just for men, to watch a concert for the first time. The reforms are part of the royal family's plans to modernise Saudi Arabia and improve its reputation. As the royal family is being celebrated for bringing about this change, pressure will grow on them to acknowledge those who campaigned and now face draconian sentences. Laura Westbrook, BBC News.